I spent some time in hotels again this summer and one thing I noticed is that there are always these little questions that I wish I could find an answer very easily. Like, until when is breakfast again? Or what was the restaurant recommendation again? When is checkout? And I always wished there was an easy way to find the answers without going to the reception, without browsing the internet, without checking the brochures. So that then made me think, what if you would put all the answers of potential questions of hotel guests into a chatbot that could give the answers right away using AI to give the answers in real time. Hi everyone, I'm Christian. I'm a product manager for a software company in Barcelona and I'm also a no-code app developer. And today I want to show you that it's actually not that difficult to build an AI assistant for hotels. For the last decades, websites were our number one place to go and find information about anything in the world. And while websites are still great and have become more and more beautiful and powerful, we humans are lazy. If we can find information in an easier way than scrolling a website or browsing the internet, we would be happy to use it. The trends that you can observe right now is that big brands and big companies are jumping already on the chatbot interface. Chatbots are nothing new. What is new is that it's actually not that difficult to build them anymore thanks to no-code software. So I'm gonna show you how to build a very easy chatbot that can answer any question from a knowledge base within less than 10 minutes. So this is what we're using as a no-code AI chatbot designer. So there are only two elements that are important for our chatbot. Number one, you need a solid knowledge base. And what that means is, in my demonstration here, we came up with this concept of a hotel and we wrote a lot of content about it. So what room types, the booking process, our amenities, activities, house rules, how to get there, what is the best connection, what public transport do we advise, what are our contact details, where exactly is that, what's our restaurant like, what kind of cuisine do we provide, we have a spa place, we have a fitness center, um, and so on. The point with your knowledge base is that the more information you add, the better the responses of the AI assistant. So we want to make sure that the customer gets decent answers. So this is our document that we created. And all I want to show you here is how we create a, a knowledge base as a document to then upload it to our chatbot system. So I'm going to attach my PDF here, bring it up and what the system does now is it reads everything that is written in that document to then add it to the learning model so that then the answers and the whole conversation can be towards the content there. So we can see our document here right now. And now we're going to get back to the designer. And so what we see on this canvas here is basically our entire conversation. It's a conversational loop, as we would call it, where we want to welcome the guest. So we have a first block here that is dedicated to welcome the guest. This is a text element. We can change this to anything. We can add images. We can also use AI here to come up with some more creative messages. And then it goes to our next step, which is basically capturing the last message from the user, the question, the text input that was made. And then we bring it to an AI step. And here we have a longer prompt that is basically giving the AI model the task to answer the question of the guest in the best way possible using the knowledge base and making sure that the answer is precise and helping the customer. That's like an, a closed loop and any question will be responded. And that's it. So let's have a look how it works. Like, so we have our welcome message. Welcome to Azure Retreat Barcelona. How can I help you today? So let's do this. Hello. Where can I work with my laptop in your hotel? And now we're going, you can see we're going to the AI step and now we're generating response using the content from our knowledge base. And so you can see the answer now. Our hotel has a well-equipped business center where you can work with your laptop. Additionally, our restaurant and lobby areas have free Wi-Fi and comfortable seating arrangements where you can work while enjoying a cup of coffee. So this is where a lot of finessing has to happen to actually write better prompts, to set up the AI model in a way that the responses are according to the brand's voice. And so how we could envision this 
is that as a hotel guest, there is an official number from the hotel that I can either find via a QR code in the room, in the lobby, or that is just an, a famous number, or it's directly shown on Google Maps. And I can hit that number, my WhatsApp messenger opens directly, and I'm welcomed by the hotel, and I can start asking questions, and I get answers within seconds. You can see it. I've created this business account, and let's start the conversation. Hey there. And there we go. We have our answer that we just designed before. How can I help you to welcome to our hotel? And now let's, let me ask the same question again. Is it okay if I work with my laptop from your hotel? Question mark. And there we got the answer. Yes, you're welcome to work with your laptop in our lobby. We offer free high-speed Wi-Fi throughout the hotel, including the lobby area and so on and so on. Various event formats from board meetings to seminars. So great, even giving more context, more ideas, what you could actually do there. Now let's ask another question. What kind of rooms, oops, what kind of rooms do you have? Very basic question. And now again, it's you have to imagine what's happening in the background is it's going through the conversation loop again, reading the knowledge base articles and giving an answer here. We offer four types of rooms at Azure Retreat. Standard room, deluxe room, suite and family room. The deluxe room and then it goes on and explains all the, all the room types. Things get really interesting when we think about more use cases that we can actually integrate in such AI assistant for hotels. Think of room bookings, think of lead generation for weddings, for business events, pre-arrival questionnaires where we want to get more information from the guest before arriving at the hotel. All right. I hope you liked that video. I'm going to be posting more content about topics like AI automations, AI assistance and business apps in general. So stick around.